Maths is difficult. Maths is hard. Maths is very abstract. Why do we worry ourselves study maths if we don't use it later on in life? Welcome to the semi-finals of the Big Internet Math Off. Today we are going to see six everyday examples of mathematics. If you come from a place like Ghana, you might be familiar with this. In the mornings, we usually buy what we call cocoa and kose. Today I'll show you some of the mathematics that the cocoa seller will use. So usually in Ghana, cocoa is served in a cylindrical pan like this. Now the cocoa seller uses some mathematics. How? How does the cocoa seller calculate the volume of cocoa in the pan to determine how much to sell each cup in order to make profit? Now the cocoa seller will think, okay, now if you have a cylinder, to know how much is in this, you have to calculate the volume. How do you calculate the volume? Now if you look at the cylinder, every point on its surface looks like what? A circle, which means that what? If you want to calculate how much it is, it's just to think of it in terms of what? You have circles at each level, and if you add all the circles, it will give you what? How much you have in this. And it translates into what? The formula for the volume, which is what? The, the formula for the circle is just pi r squared, and if you add the circle, this height times is just you multiplying by h. But also, we serve cocoa with kose, right? So kose is just made with what? Bean paste and water. The seller does not get the ratio of the beans to the water it becomes too light then the kose will not come out as you'd want it or if it becomes too thick then it becomes too hard for you to eat so you see the ratio and proportions that we use to study in mass is very relevant in even the cocoa and kose that you buy great so secondly after buying your cocoa you had to get to work you either got to work in a trotter or your own vehicle now, when you get into a car and the car is trying to join the main road, it uses some mass, the mass of what speed. The driver has to calculate what is the speed of the car in the lane and computes that within the time that I'm trying to join the road, will the car reach where I am? If yes, no, you will not be able to join the road now. You wait for another car which is traveling at a lower speed so that when you are able to join the road, you wouldn't collide. And that is mathematics. How? Speed is distance over time. So you see, even the trotter driver uses mathematics. Now you got into the office, and you realize that the floor of the office is tiled. It's tiled with cream and black tiles. You realize that the black tiles are centered in the middle of the office. How were they able to do this? The tiler used some mathematics. So the tiler used maths to calculate the area of the floor and was able to calculate the center of the floor to be able to use the black tiles in the center and the cream tiles all around it. The tile also used mathematics to compute how much tiles that they will use to tile the floor, knowing that if each tile is one square meter and my 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 room is what 42 square meters, then you know that you what you need what 42 of these tiles to tile your room. Suddenly it starts to rain and you are scared. Why? Because the window to your room was not fixed properly. Instead of the angle at the corners of the window being 90 degrees, the Macy made a mistake and made it 88 degrees, which means that there was a little space of two degrees. That two degrees deficit allows water in. So anytime it rains, your room gets flooded. So you see, if masons do their mathematics very well and get their right angles well, your rooms will not get flooded. You might have heard about malaria. Next time you are done with malaria, you need to treat it as soon as possible so that it doesn't deteriorate. You are prescribed medication for malaria based on the stage at which the disease is, whether it is mild or severe. The pharmacist will prescribe to you whether you have to take four doses of the malaria tablet every eight hours or just one dose every 24 hours. Now, how, how do they do this um, prescription? They do this based on what 
knowing how many malignant parasites you have in your body and knowing that okay if you take four doses every eight hours it will help in what reducing their numbers or fighting it and it, they also use it to compute um, how long it takes for your body to clear this medicine from you and this involves differential equations which is mathematics so you see even the mathematics the pharmacist uses mathematics finally it's the end of the day and you look at the clock and you ask yourself we have a 24-hour day but our clocks have only 12 um, numbers on it. How are we able to tell time? We use some math called modular arithmetic. Now we start from midnight starting at zero and midday at 12. But when it is 13 hours, we say it is one o'clock. We use modular arithmetic. How? At 1300, we compute what the remainder when you divide what 13 by 12, and that is one. So 1300 becomes what one? 1400 becomes two and the rest so that you are able to convert what a 24 hour time into a 12 hour time so you see even in time we use mathematics how do i conclude here so we conclude with this that whether you finish with a basic education certificate examination or a phd in mathematics we all use maths all around us and we can make maths very interesting in these examples we saw today in the coco and Kose that we saw in you, uh, you trying to uh, join the road across the road calculating speed or with the tiles of your room or with the window having a, a right angle or even with what malaria prescription and finally with the clock so you see mass is very interesting vote for me to make it to the finals thank you bye